Hi there everyone, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at this case here. This is the 42 inch padded rifle case from Voodoo Tactical. Uh, this is a Christmas present, pretty happy with it I have to say. We're going to start off on, on the outside, just take a look at the overall construction. And we're going to work our way through all this, uh, the pockets and the dividers and all that sort of stuff. Now, the main construction material that they've used is it is Cordura, of course, it's a thousand denier, nice tough stuff, pretty much what you'd expect. Really, um, the stitching, which I think with a bag like this, with so many pockets on it, um, you know, all so many straps and hooks and all this stuff, the, the stitching is really important and they've done that really well. Every point where it needs to be reinforced, it's reinforced. All the edges around all these pockets, it's double, triple stitched. The, uh, the molly webbing on here, gone through on the, with the machine a lot of times, they put a lot of thread into this thing, almost too much I would say, but the uh, thing is when you, with the amount of stuff this bag can carry, and you'll see that further on into the video, you want it to almost be on the over the top side of things rather than not enough, especially when it comes to how all the, uh, all the carrying handles and all that sort of thing are attached. So like I say, 1000 Denier Cordura, Really like the zips, which there are a lot of, as you as you'll see, are really uh, really chunky, nice and strong. Just what you want to see. You don't want little piddly little pissy zips, like you see on like, a pocket or something like that on a cheap jacket. When it comes to a bag like this, so they've put really good size zips on. Paracord pulls on every one. Nice and easy to access. One thing I did notice actually when I when I first took this out of the box is that every single zip has a loop point through it and they, they mesh together like so can you close each pocket and I thought well you know that's that's all I'm good but then you're gonna there's literally one two three there's there's six on the front and one for the main compartment that's seven padlocks you'd have to buy if you want to lock this back. But fortunately one of the first things I noticed when I went inside is they ship with seven padlocks and seven keys. Uh, you know, so uh, admittedly, all, all it's going to take is a knife to get in a, a bag like this, but just having those there, if you do want to secure stuff, then at least you've got some option there, and you know, it's going to prevent someone just literally just walking up with no sort of kit and just going, oh yeah, yeah I fancy some of this guy's magazines, yeah, take some of that or whatever. So uh, just, um, you know, when you're buying a fairly pricey bit of kit like this. It's really nice to have those extras included. From the front, the front then. Nice uh, embroidered logo on here. Got a good little area of Velcro loop. This can attach all your ID patches. We have been, I banged your mum last night. Morale patches, all that kind of thing. All padded, everything throughout this bag. There is so much padding, I can't even tell you. Every single pocket, every single divider inside, every edge, there's there's just padding everywhere. All this front, all these uh, all this grid section you see here is all padding. So we'll start on one side. These two sections on the outside are identical, so we'll just go into the one. On the first outside pocket, it opens like so. You can store three AR-15 type magazines. Really strong velcro on these. Um, but again, uh, you, you probably fit AK mags in as well. I mean, obviously anything that's the standard size of like a 30 round um, Stanag or a P mag or whatever, you know, they're going to go in there. Anything in that rough size area, store those away really nicely. What you, they're essentially like your sort of your, your standard molly pouches, but they're just attached inside the bag. And you've got that same in this front one over here. And then behind each of these rifle magazine pouches, so obviously three in each, so you've got six in total. And behind each one, these open like so. And what you've got, you've got a general space in here, and then you've got pocket velcro closure in the lid, and that's designed to take out this. Thing. So in total already, we've got specific places for six rifle magazines, two handguns, just in these outside pockets. Open this front one. This is a nicely done little pouch here. And there's your pistol magazines. 
eight of those in there. All again, it's basically like a uh, you know like a webbing vest or a, a molly pouch, just attached to the inside with those velcro lids, webbing grab loops for it to make each one of them easier. Lots of velcro, lots of uh, heavy duty stitching. Is that one off? And this one is basically just a general purpose. So behind your pistol mags, you can put your eye pro, your ear pro, cleaning kits, more mags if you wanted to, uh, you know, if I can name it, optics, batteries, little cardboard boxes that you get with the uh, ammunition. Just useful to have for, for all that stuff that you're going to take, um, you know. This is a, a really, like, as far as who's going to use this bag, you know, anyone, all you, uh, guys in the States you civilian shooters, this is going to be an absolutely fantastic range bag because you can fit those, like I say, you've got your primary mags, your pistol mags, your handguns, your rifles, the ammo, high pro, pro block, you know, the list goes on, all of that straight in there, it's like a complete setup, uh, and you're good to go. So before we go into the main rifle section on the inside, I'll take a couple of things to mention. Underneath tension straps, for those of you familiar with larger backpacks, you know they tend to have tension straps on the side so the stuff that you've put in that pack isn't just rattling around in a loose bag. You can tighten these straps up, make sure everything is inside the rifle piece is nice and secure. On the top, you've got two more similar cinching straps, plastic quick release buckles. And then on the top, similar as you'd expect with a lot of bags like this, you've got a uh, length of webbing. It's been done a nice little sewing job there to make it uh, thin it down. And then uh, a Velcro wrap that will secure those two halves together when you've got everything set up inside. On the back, a couple of points for the shoulder strap that's included. Now these are these are really when I was talking about how much they've almost over-engineered this bag. These these are a good example because metal D-rings, section of inch and a half webbing. Definitely like, on each side of it, they've sort of done like a, they've sort of how many times? There's at least four layers of stitching. They've crossed through it with stitching as well, and then put a metal stud to rip like. I mean, that is never coming off. When, you, when you've got that shoulder strap on there, you're never gonna, like, this isn't gonna be one of those cheap bags that you, you, you carry it along, and then something like that just rips out and smashes onto the deck. Never, ever gonna happen. I think this this would outlast you, like, by a, a lot of years. Uh, there's, uh, there's quite a few of these, these slim points as well for the shoulder strap. One here and here on the back. Another one there, which is quite securely sewn into this strip of webbing also makes up the carry handles and then you have another attachment point here on the front uh, the molly webbing mentioned quickly uh, just standard inch you know everything's color matched this is obviously the coyote bag and of course uh, you know coyote zips the cordura the webbing the thread uh, the velcro everything's color matched and you've got three columns by one two three four five six seven nine rows Pals of the webbing on each side. So when I mentioned that list of earlier of everything you can store in here, that's not even the exhaustive list. You can put on, you know, all those pouches that you've probably got, you can attach them on here and put more magazines, medical kit, fucking you name it, it'll, it'll go on there. But that's that for the outside. Let's go into the inside section. And this is a uh, this is where can tell you know, they've, they've put a lot of time and effort into this. Straight away, we've got two internal sections here now. We've got a nice, nicely done divider. Again, what we said before about all the padding, nice thickness of padding in there. You can feel the foam matting they've put inside. So you're going to have one rifle, carbine, submachine gun, whatever, in here. Another one on there. And that's going to keep them separate so they're not smashing against each other while you're running about or whatever it is you're doing with the bag and uh, you know end of the day weapons are tools but you, you want them to get worn while you're using them 
not while you're transporting them, that's just a waste of, uh, of wear and it's going to bring, you know, if you've got expensive rifles, you don't, uh, whatever sport or hobby it is you're doing, you don't want the weapons or replicas that you're carrying here to be worn out before their time because they're um, you know, smashing against each other inside your, your storage and your transportation system. So that is really nice. Around the outside here, you can see this edge that's actually sewn in. So when when the uh, when the inside of this main pocket is uh, you know, padded out, packed out with the weapons, this will actually it, it'll sit flat when there's nothing in it. But then when the bag's full, it'll true like so. And that goes all the way around here, giving that extra protection. For actually securing the rifles themselves. Then, Nice strips of webbing, tons of velcro, and two per section, exactly the same on this side. That's going to you know, keep whatever it is you're moving well in place. And then at each end, again, padded sections here, all nicely down with edging tape, all this stuff. Mortal Dura, lots of stitching. And you can tuck your, your the actual ends of your barrels, depending on the weapon obviously, but um, and how exactly it's set up. But if, yeah, if the barrels and the end of the stock reach either side, they will tuck into these. And again, same on this side of the bag, which is two duplicate. And uh, I think that is everything, guys. Um, one thing, yes, the shoulder strap, almost forgot. Clips on to the bag really, really easily, just like that, on, on all those points that I mentioned. Got some fairly heavy duty metal attachment points, the plastic, uh, sprung gated webbing with metal triglides, so we've got adjustment on each end of the strap because uh, there's another one here as well. Uh, the actual ends are both the same. Especially the, the actual carry strap is symmetrical from the centre. So, like I say, heavy duty sprung gated clips, webbing adjustment. I mean, they, they've put three, four, five levels of stitching into like, where the webbing meets the actual uh, pad of it. As you see, this is a really wide pad, so when you're carrying something. Uh, even when you've got the, the actual case full of heavy kit, guns and ammo and all that, all that good stuff, uh, this is going to do a, a great job. More padding throughout this, and just to just to make this actual this section of the carry strap really secure to the shoulder pad, this section of webbing carries on and it goes underneath all of these uh, straps that look like money. It goes all the way down. And every single bit of stitching here is all holding it in to the pad. It goes all the way down to here, uh, and the exact same on the other side. So this, this section of webbing is uh, is that complete length from where my hands are. It's just never going to come out. Um, edges of the actual shoulder pad itself, again edging tape, nicely attached, all very neat stitching. You've got. Um, this, this webbing isn't actually quite to standard PAL spec, but uh, you'll be able to, if you wanted to, if you want even more pouches and more storage than you've got in the bag, you can be able to put <coughs> some small items onto the actual carrying strap. On the underside, of it, as I say, you've got that padding um, on the center section, which is probably the bit that's actually going to be on the shoulder. You've got this, again, color matched, non slip material, just going to once it's under some tension when you're carrying the bag, that will uh, stop the stop the shoulder strap sort of rocking around where the whole bag's swinging like one of those big rides at the fucking uh, at the theme parks when, when you're carrying it, which will be not what you want when there's a fair amount of weight inside the bag. So there we have it. If you're in the States, you can pick these up straight direct from Voodoo Tactical. I believe it's all are made in America. And when you pick them up, it comes with and the little sort of uh, demonstration guide leaflet thingy that shows you nicely printed, tells you about every single pocket, pouch, and, and uh, strap that's on this bag, all listed. If you're in Europe, they're 
they have a distributor. It's actually in Slovenia, I believe. That's where I, uh, that's where I got my bag from. Really, a uh, very good bunch of guys over there uh, in the European distributor. You can uh, find them in the link that I'll put in the description box below if you want to pick up one of these bags. Voodoo make uh, a whole range of bags. This is, I would guess, is their kind of the premier model, like deluxe, as they call it. Yeah, um, you can fit a huge amount of stuff, but if you want something for more for shotguns, bolt action rifles, submachine guns, something just for a pistol, maybe just for one rifle. They've got a whole a whole gamut, complete range of uh, different options you can pick up, so definitely check them out. And uh, yeah, really happy with this bag. I definitely, if you want a, if you want a complete sort of range day or airsofting or paintballing or hunting, whatever it is, bag to move all your weaponry and accessories and magazines and ammo all in one place definitely the way to go thanks for thanks for watching guys i appreciate all the all those subs all the thumbs up all that good stuff if you want to check out similar content i've got a uh, facebook page where i update all the youtube videos i'll put a link to that down in the description box so again thanks for watching guys see you next time